I don't want to say exactly what the game is at first. I think most of you who actually know me are going to guess which game I'm talking about. But basically, I'm going to talk about why I believe it's going to be the next big game. And then I'm going to talk about basically what it is. So the reason that I think this is going to be the biggest Xbox game on launch. And it is a multi-platform title, so it's not exclusive to Xbox. But I believe Xbox is really what it's going to be geared for. Um, is because the, the, the company who makes it doesn't make many games. They're not this type of company that just pumps out products to satisfy a quota. Uh, they're a company that takes their time, uh, very much like Valve, and makes quality titles uh, that people want to play and that increase the reputation of the organization. I think that so many organizations really lose that at some point. At some point in the business strategy they lose that sense of I need to make games um, you know that are absolute quality so that people think hey when when I talk about this company I think awesome I think of quality and uh, that's very very important and this company has never disappointed me when I was buying their games like basically any of their games in retrospect after looking at it I think are absolutely worth the money, and in, in many, many cases, were worth way more than what uh, the game sold for. So, basically the reason I believe that this, this title is going to be the biggest game at launch is because the company's been working on it now for several years. Um, it's got a unique premise, and the premise is one that every other game company has failed before. And for most of you, when I say the premise, you're going to know which game I'm talking about. And that is, it is a first-person shooter MMORPG. Okay, so I think most of you by this point know which game I'm talking about. But um, for those of you who don't, let me just explain what's happened with M F FPS MMORPGs in the past. And why, if they could make it work, it's going to be the most revolutionary game we're probably going to see on this generation of console. FPS is all by their nature very based on balance and to create balance in most cases you have to create a very um, definite and rigid structure. That means that you know numbers of opponents gotta be even, uh, you know battlefield conditions like map layouts have to be even it's very difficult to create a good FPS because a good FPS is like a chess game. It needs to be really thought out beforehand to make sure that no piece is more powerful than the other and therefore would you know, make the experience unenjoyable or make one tactic too dominant. Um, so when you think about this, you begin to see how it's very, very hard to take this and match it with an MMORPG that is very dynamic, that is very um, based on cooperative play, uh, that is trying to give kind of MMORPGs are kind of trying to give a variety of experiences uh, that are based a lot on leveling up and gaining new skills as you level up. So this idea of the FPS MMORPG has been around for a long time, but it's never really come to any fruition. It's never really been done where, in my opinion, people are like, wow, this is the first MMORPG slash FPS that works. In my opinion, this game that I'm going to tell you what it is at the end of the video is going to be the first of that kind. Um, and if so, it will be absolutely revolutionary, um, just simply because there's no other game that's done this before. Um, the setting looks good, the, the atmosphere looks good, and this is very important in the game, and something that a lot of companies don't do enough of, um, and that is that they haven't told us too much about the game, and that's very important because, surprisingly enough, you can actually have a lot of problems if you tell people too much about a game and reveal too much of the surprise, the, the thrill factor of discovering the game by yourself. Um, so without further ado, the game that I think that is going to be 2013's 
really it's the end of 2014, so I shouldn't say 2014, but end of 2014, start of 2014's best new game is going to be Destiny, made by Bungie. Um, its concept is revolutionary. I believe that they have really worked to make the concept actually work and not just be this kind of like dream that nobody has realized yet. So I am very much looking forward to at the end of this year trying it out on the Xbox One slash Xbox 720. I think that it will bring cooperative play along with the Xbox One's changes, uh, including, you know, Connect 2.0 and definitely better um, communication and, you know, ability to connect with friends. I think the cooperative nature um, of Destiny is going to be amazing. I think it will be an amazing experience. I really, you know, I don't want to get too excited about the game right now, but I'm not certain if we're not talking about like a, a you know, Halo 1, Halo 2 style like revolution where we're like, wow, this is unbelievable. No game has ever done this before. And, um, you know, I'm just so excited to see Bungie back and actually making games again. And for these reasons that I've listed here, in my opinion, Game of the Year of 2014 will be Destiny. Um, or the Game of the Year of 2013, depending on which year you want to count it on since it's coming out at the very end of the year. So, I hope you guys are excited as I am about this game. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some Halo Reach for me and Chi Town's Finest. And without further ado, this is Stranger Hydra 9, out. I will see you guys next time.